Hi, this is Ron Periello with Lancelot Video. Today is part two of the Da Vinci audio playback sound issue. Please no comments on the audio video. Obviously, it hasn't been set up, but I'll be mostly sharing my screen today. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is check the audio file. This definitely was mentioned in part one, but I can't stress this enough. You want to open that outside of DaVinci Resolve and make sure that there's actually sound or music on that file. I know it's simple, but if a video or an audio that you download from YouTube does not work, then obviously there's nothing DaVinci Resolve can do about that. Okay, moving right along here, you want to make sure that the audio has waveforms. So you click on this icon here, hover over this little icon here, and it should say audio waveforms. Make sure that this is actually checked. See if I uncheck it, there's no waveforms here. But if you click it, there's actually waveforms. So that should tell DaVinci that we do have waveforms and sound or music or audio or our dialogue that is on your actual file. Okay, now that we see waveforms, we'll hit the space bar. You can hear audio. You want to also look at your meters. On the right, the meters are moving. You want to go into deep, something more deep. If you want to look deeper, you can actually click spacebar, hit the audio, and you can go into a mixer. And once again, hit spacebar. And you can see that the meters are actually working. That means the audio is working. Okay, now that we know waveforms are working, the meters are working, we want to go to DaVinci's Fairlight, which is on the bottom here. Click on that. You also could also show icons, labels, or icons only, which has a music icon. I, would, I prefer to show icons and labels, which is Fairlight. Now we can see the waveforms. If you want to make them smaller or larger, but here we go, we can make that larger. So now we can see the waveforms here in Fairlight. Okay, so the way DaVinci 17 uses the audio output from the program is through what is called a bus. And bus one is the default audio. As you can see here on the right, we have bus one. Now, if you don't see bus one, we go up to index. We go up to index and make sure that bus one is indeed checked with the eyeball. So if I unclick it, bus one is gone. You want to make sure that the eyeball is there. Hit play. Yes, but what are we doing? Should we talk about this? And bus one has also audio and the waveforms are working. Okay, now that we see that bus one is there, we want to make sure that the tracks are actually being sent to bus one. So what we do here is go up to Fairlight and go to a bus assign. Okay, so here we are in bus assign. We have bus one here, send, and bus one out. We have available tracks below. This is very important here is making sure that the audio one, we have one track, which is being sent to out, which is to bus one. So if we click bus one off, which is B1 means out, if we unclick it, close, hit play, you notice that bus one actually, you see the waveforms, but bus one, there is no sound because the actual audio is not going to bus one. So we stop it, go back to Fairlight, B1O, which is out to bus one, close. Now we hit play. We hit play. And now you can see bus one actually has a audio track and waveform. Okay, so let's go back to the big fix, which seems to be working 
for a lot of people is go into DaVinci Resolve, go to Preferences, Video, Audio, Input, Output. And for me, this usually works for user systems settings. So as you can see here, for me, it's set to Yeti Stereo Microphone. But if you want to go through your speakers, you could change whatever output you want this to go to to one particular item and make sure that uh, that your audio was set up correctly here. That is a big fix that I've seen in many videos and that usually solves the problem. Now that we looked at issues within DaVinci, let's take a look at your, for me it's Windows, and make sure your sounds are set up properly. Click on the sound icon here, click on sound, brings up your menu. This is a big fix that I hear that works. You go to playback, for me, it's going through my Yeti speakers. Click on properties, advanced, 16-bit, 4800 DVD quality. That fixes most problems within DaVinci. If you're not going through your head microphones, you could go to any one of these that you have set up and make sure that your default format is set to DVD quality. Uh, some people have it set to studio quality and it doesn't work through DaVinci. But if you go to 16-bit DVD quality, that does work and fixes the problems with the sound within DaVinci. And finally, sometimes DaVinci just needs a restart. Just like your phone, you restart, or even like your computer, you restart it, boot it back up, and that fixes the audio issue. And of course, if you have any specific questions or concerns, you can always leave a comment below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And once again, if you like this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to speak to you all soon. Once again, this is Rom from Lancelot Video.